Hello, welcome to Suffering Me Code. This is going to be a session I have no idea how long. Um, I also have no introduction actually prepared, despite this being attempt number three at it. Uh, <clears throat> it's a scenario I'm having some individuals at work go through uh, as training, and I figure I should probably at least go through it once or twice myself. Um, and, well, since I'm doing it, I might as well record it. It's a simple scenario. It's a pizza shop. Um, I actually got this from a gentleman named Mike Cabara, who got it from somebody named Shane something that I never remember his last name. So, not my original creation, but something I found useful. So, basically, a pizza shop wants a little bit of a pricing system. Um, so, we're going to have some requirements. That we're going to build on. So we initially just have two sizes. You can actually go through and read this. I'm not going to do it all. And this is what I'm going to code up. And we will evolve it over time as we get additional requirements for it, kind of like this, our systems actually do, which is the goal of uh, the exercise. Is we working through something at least similar to what we do in production or in real life, whatever. <laughs> uh, I will try to do this fairly TDD. I'm not going to hold to it strictly. So I may deviate a bit. Other things I'm going to do is I'll probably, I will be using the GitHub, um, GitHub desktop to commit files. I really like how it, allows us a summary and then a description <clears throat> which is in line with uh, how to write good commit git commit messages um, I will also be trying to use Arlo's git notation when I do commits I'm really bad at holding to it so we'll see how that goes again if you want the other URL right there they're great tools um, yeah, the biggest thing I get out of how to write Git messages is this. Whenever you write a Git commit message, think prefix it with if applied, this commit will and then your message. So I use that to construct Git commit messages following this site. I have that in a little Sublime text off to the side. <clears throat> All right. Uh, within Visual Studio, um, you'll be able to see over here on the right hand side, I have the Resharper green check mark. And on the left hand side, I have NCrunch running. These are two tools. If you don't use Resharper, you're doing C Sharp wrong. <clears throat> uh, NCrunch is nice, though Visual Studio does have its live testing that I could use. I have an end crunch license because I enjoy its interface and functionality a little bit more. So <clears throat> that's what I do. All right, so our requirements, we have them, we have some. So the reminder, two pizza sizes. Yeah. Uh, if you wanna follow along, I mean, you could screenshot this and tag it keep it. I'm not going to reference it too much. I am going to pin it though. So you can see that nice little pin mark there. <clears throat> I'm technically passing. All my tests are green. Woo. Um, there's this little thing down the bottom left of the window. No issues found. I'm not sure if that's an end crunch thing or just something I've never actually noticed before. So that'll be fun to uh, figure out. <clears throat> okay. So, we have personal pizza for $9. We're going to do a test that our personal pizza is correct price. Um, <clears throat> I could say $9. Uh, yeah. So, again, 
when doing TDD, I think you should have extremely explicit test names, like $9. So let's just go ahead and do that instead of being clever and saying correct prize. No, I want correct prize. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it correct. I'm not doing it as strictly as I could. <clears throat> Um, but that happens. All right, our personal pizza is nine dollars. No, I'm doing this very explicitly. I like all my classes sealed. Not sure if you remember that. Uh, my habit with tests is to do subject. I'm, give me one second. Sorry. I'll, I'll fix that later. All right. Uh, I don't have my arrange active cert. That's that's what I'm complaining about here. That's okay. I will fix that in a moment. Okay, and now, oh, 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 I don't have, oh, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my template. I am slightly offended at this. Um, I have a template for uh, my tests that allow me to just type test and tab, and it will generate all my nice arranged act assert. Everything I like. Uh, I don't, apparently it's, it's uh, not there. So, one moment while I generate a template fix this for myself uh, one of the things I really like to do is have my code the way I like it I mean fix things as soon as you see the problem and then you don't have to go back and fix things over time or do a massive fix later All right, so this is what I like I like a range active cert I will get my template back. Uh, I updated ReSharper today <laughs> before I started this. Uh, so that is actually the issue. Um, the templates I have come with uh, are packaged as part of a personal plugin I wrote <clears throat> for ReSharper. And so that plugin hasn't been updated to the latest version of ReSharper. Got to do that. And then my uh, templates will come back. So I know the problem, um, I don't have it, so I'm just going to give myself this little template at the beginning, or this little comment at the beginning of my, my file, so I can just copy and paste when I need a new test. <laughs> I distracted myself, there is no assert. And this is why I like a range act assert. I totally, totally screwed up having my assert in there. And we can see I totally, totally don't have fluent assertions installed. I meant to do that before I started. Um, should be nine, nine dollars. Yes, we we did bad there. That this is not starting out great. Screwed up my cert, screwed up my installation, screwed up a lot of stuff. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm off to the right hand side in the solution. Uh, pulling up the NuGet packages to manage. Let's just go ahead and update everything because I like everything updated. I normally do this before uh, I start the coding. I just totally forgot this time. Oops. And that's uh, my mistake. So, okay, that's all installed. Come on, go to browse. And you can, yeah, I have it often. It's a little bit cut. That's okay. You can get the idea of what I'm doing. I like fluent assertions getting installed I think it's installed there we are and crunch runs and we're all green fantabulous okay I'm happy about that yeah. all right so I'm, I'm gonna just duplicate this test that's control D 
Uh, I've talked about that before. Personal piece is correct. We are actually going to go through and do this the inside out way. We want a description. That's one of our requirements. Get a description of the pizza. So it's a personal pizza that, uh, oh my God, I screwed up the name too. Wow, this is a really rough start. Advantage of the whole kind of part of the point of doing this is all devs screw up and we can kind of screw up a lot. All right, so we should be compiling. I'm red, so I'm not going to rename my price one yet. Uh, that's not even correct. Okay, I am I am super off today. I apologize. Uh, <clears throat> uh, my practices. Okay, I'm green. We can refactor this. Uh, description, description, description should be okay. We're actually 11 minutes in. Um, that's fine. I'm also going to create the foundation for the family pizza. The family pizza price was $18. So we're going to do that. We're going to do a family pizza. My practice is that classes are either abstract or sealed. Nothing is neither. Okay. We are now oh, modify the internals first. Modify all the internals first. Okay, and we are we are green. Actually, I want to check something I said earlier. All right, this little down th thing in the bottom left of the window is not in crunch. Um, it's probably resharper. Yeah. Okay. So it's resharper. Telling me that uh, there's a bit of unnecessary code. Yeah. Oh, unreach. Yeah. So okay. It, or Visual Studio. Well, it might be Visual Studio that's doing it. I don't know. It's an interesting blip down there. All right. Anyway, um, we have the start of two pizzas. This is probably going to be a very long series because there's a lot of requirements to this. I completed like two of the first two things out of the first requirement. Uh, <clears throat> this will be fun. Uh, I hope uh, you don't suffer too much while I do all this. We're going to stop there. Clearly, our pizzas have a lot of similarities. There's a little bit changes here. So we need to encapsulate that which varies. And we can see these vary for each pizza. So we'll get to that. We're factoring that out next time.